Um, there was a couple of questions too in terms of how do we embolden the science community to speak out more on issues like climate and biodiversity loss? David Attenborough is obviously a great example here of someone who does have a profile and who does have respect around the world for the work that he does and the advocacy. Um, how do we embolden other scientists to speak similarly where they can? Look, I think sci in, from where I sit, scientists are very vocal and they are actually feeding into processes. But I guess that's because of where I sit and we have the IPCC and we have IPBES. So uh, a lot of scientists are speaking out all the time and they are advocating for um, changes. And I would say so are economists in terms of our growth paradigm and consumption and production. In the Australian context, again, I think they are speaking. They're perhaps not being picked up. And perhaps there are other ways that we need to be communicating information. And I do think science is only useful if you can communicate it to where someone needs it and can hear it in a particular way. Sometimes I think we're perhaps not being tangible enough in terms of what's being recommended. And what are the greatest opportunities that you can see for the UN's Environment Program to make a real difference in the next five and ten years, that sort of time frame? Okay, so we're going to have a plastics treaty, hopefully agreed, and hopefully we'll deal with plastic pollution, so that's ended. Uh, even though the, the recent COP was a little bit disappointing, at least countries said we need to get out of fossil fuels. So in the next five years, though that's only going to be strengthened. And I, I think the environment discussion has enhanced greatly over the last couple of years, and it's commonly being discussed and debated. And so I believe that with these big items, and I say the, the Convention on Biological Diversity with the new um, global biodiversity framework, with protecting biodiversity and restoring and measures to make sure all of those are by countries who've signed on to those particular agreements. So I'm hopeful that we'll actually start to see some of those shifts and we'll start to see some of the, the trends um, bending. So, um, yeah.